Hi everybody, welcome to X's and O's with Leroy Butler. And we're going to talk about a play that, if you've watched closely, the Packers have run this maybe a half dozen times this year, <laughs> and yeah. it always winds up in a yeah. big play. Very and, and what's very interesting about this play, I'll let you show what it is first. And this is against Carolina. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, Essentially, yeah. it's what you say is a yeah. one-man route, right? One I mean, route, one yeah. guy going out, although in some instances there's another guy going right. out. But why don't you show exactly what happened here? I'll just show the Packers are in two tight ends, and this is Greg right. Jennings out here. This was against Carolina. And the Packers are in a formation that we call U for under. So it's a U personnel. But Carolina, we went way back to show this play, and it's a progression. They're in kind of a nickel. So maybe they're treating... Finley, you know, man, extra guy, it doesn't matter. As a wide receiver. But as a safety, this is right. purely safety, okay? And, not, and at some point in time, it matters what the coaches have told me, mm -hmm. but I got to use my football common sense mm -hmm. to think in my film study, every time there's a play action to where Rodgers rolls out after the fake, and he sets a way back here, okay? Yeah. And let's show. Big loop. It's a, <laughs> it's a play action, and what's... Um, what draws everybody this way is Ryan Grant comes this way, mm -hmm. John Kuhn comes this way, right. but then he breaks back out here and becomes Rogers' right. personal protector. <laughs> These guys are all moving in this direction. Right. And the good thing about that, I don't have to pull a guard. Right. I just, I right. there's this protection right there. Right. So, in, if you're the quarterback, you're thinking, okay, this route takes a long time. That's why you got to play fake and get the deep step now. Here's the problem with this route. Jennings, you th the good thing about receivers, when you're running routes, you have to run every route the same speed. That's what kind of throws the safety mm -hmm. out. Because he comes out just kind of striding up like he's going to run a post. Then he breaks it back to the corner, and then he breaks it back to the, to the post. Now, here's the problem. You get somewhat of a jam from the cornerback, but the safety's time, for the life of me, they get so wide the way they almost cross Jenny's face, and you get a wide open the middle there. Now, you would think this safety backside, mm -hmm. well, what, why wouldn't he just come over? Well, guess what? Finley, and you can draw Finley's route. Yeah, Finley, Finley kind of draws up and out and draws that safety away from him. Mm -hmm. So it's really this safety. Now, what should happen is this safety, and this is like a cover two, because both safeties are deep. What this safety should do is all he has to do, anytime you see the word Rogers, when you see it in his name, you get depth and you stay nice and square. Because if Jennings runs a corner route, your cornerback will help you. So you're really going to try to get in between those two routes. Stay deep. Now when Rogers lifts up, he sees that the safety is very deep. Jennings on his other move, you didn't go for it. You're back deep. Now he has to bring the ball down. He's a, throw, a dangerous throw all the way back over here. Or he can just, what he's always done, he can just take off and run and outrun pretty much anybody in the front right. seven. Right. So it seemed like McCarthy goes to this, because at the time the score was 13 to 7. He goes to this when he says, look, it's enough of this. I need to score. Yeah. This is their bread and butter play. Now let's show this. Okay, now we move ahead to Denver two weeks Denver. later. Okay, go to Denver. And we got, this time it's Jordy Nelson here. Okay. All right. And this time, oh, I'm sorry, Jordy Nelson starts over on this he side with Greg Jennings. Okay. So Greg Jennings is here, Jordy Nelson is here. Okay, you take a look at that, and right. the defense thinks what? That because they have two guys over here. Well, now you're thinking, I'm going to keep that red, the, the quarterback's action the same. You're thinking there's a slot to that particular side. That's good, he's there in a the base. Mm -hmm. You're thinking, well... Both of these guys are in the game. I really don't know who's the deep threat. But if your film study would tell you, look at the average. Jordan Nelson has almost a 19-yard average. When he comes in motion, Tom, I would never think that he's the primary guy. Mm -hmm. I would think that you're just doing that to get Jennings by himself. But you remember we had um, Jermichael Finley running this route? Now I got your best guy, your pro oh, bowler running that route. So he occupies Guy, right. this guy has He's to occupied. Attention. Now we're targeting this guy again. Same thing. He There's came 87, up. Yep. 87 comes up here, comes up, hit him with the post, back to the corner, back to the, and again, safety. Same thing, Tom. He gets yeah, always too wide. On that right, Ralph. He gets too wide. Touchdown. Right. And 
exact same thing. Run came this way. Same John thing. John Coon came back out. Right. Protected Rogers. So what McCarthy is doing is giving you the, the illusion that it's still my favorite play, mm -hmm. but I'm going to give it to you in a different formation. Well, let's... And different personnel. And now we're going to look at yet another formation that they yes. used to do it again. And this was against Chicago This was against Sunday. the Bears. So right. this time, he comes out with... Um, Finley at the line of scrimmage. Okay. Tom Crabtree here. Right. Okay. So now, if you're the Bears, you're thinking this is a run, aren't you? Because you got two tight ends right. over there. Right. You got an I formation. They have been playing a lot of cover three, which means the safety's in the middle. So this guy kind of comes down, and this guy is more over here. Right. So now we have a different <laughs> defense that yeah. they're going to play against. Because the Bears say we're not going to give up the deep the deep pass in the middle. Right. So <laughs> this time, what he does is he motions Crabtree over to here. Now right. they're back to that formation they were in against Carolina. Right. And what happened? Same route. Same route. Same route. Beautiful. And, uh, and I'll get to the, the reason why it keeps happening in a minute. Same route. Now this safety for the Bears, he's so enamored with the play action that he takes one step. That one step gets your beat. Then he gets so wide. When he gets wide, once Jordan Nelson makes that last move, he's going to cut inside of him. And now he's from here to here. And once you're there, you're beat. And the reason why this play keeps happening is because of number 12. His ball handling time is one of the best in the league. They don't know if it's a run or a pass. Mm -hmm. It's a guessing game. Right. But like I've always told anybody I talk to as a safety, if you're a safety, you should never bite on these plays because guess what? You got all these people to stop the run. Mm -hmm. You got no business coming up there if you got covered two, four, or you're at one high. Never. But for some reason, they bite, and these receivers get deep on you. Yeah. But it's the brilliancy of McCarthy. It doesn't matter. They'll flip-flop formation, different right. personnel. That, that's the, same the strength action. of McCarthy is that he runs yeah. a, a whole bunch of plays, yes. basic plays, but he does them out of so many right. different formations. So and if you're a safe, you're aggressive defense. anyway. But I'm telling you, this play has been killing Everybody in the NFL that they played, and no one's been able to stop it. Right. And it's a lot of it has to do with Aaron Rodgers. Okay, next we're going to talk about um, man under coverage and what exactly that is. Very important. Okay, now we're going to talk about man under defense. Mm -hmm. And you'll hear that a lot because teams are playing a decent amount of that against the yeah. Packers. And the reason is, is because um, they've got to find a way to slow down the passing game. And mm -hmm. I thought this would be a good opportunity for you to kind of show us what the concept is. Right. And the concept, when you're, you're man under, it really doesn't matter what the two safeties are doing. The concept is I can never, Tom, let a receiver inside. So if you're Donald Driver out here, if I'm the cornerback, I can't let him in there on the, on the inside. Okay, now if you're this linebacker or you're the, another nickelback, you can't let Finley get on the inside, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Mm -hmm. On this side with Jordy Nelson, you can never let him on the inside, and as well as Jennings. Now, so most of these defensive backs, they'll take it like a foot inside because your safeties are going here. And There's, they are yeah. in a cover two yeah. look. In They're in a cover man, two look. Man under. And they got half. They got half of the field. And he got a half of the field. Now, if you're, if you're Aaron Rodgers, you're thinking, oh, I recognize this cover two. I need 85, 87, and 88, one of these guys to break that middle. I need you to beat man coverage and get to that middle because I got a big play going. So once Finley goes up, he leans out. He leans back right here. This backer gets wide. You got a big play right there. Mm -hmm. And that happened against mostly everybody. Now, what happens is, now say, well, I want to get a quicker guy in there. Like in the Super Bowl, Pittsburgh was running two man. Now, if you got another guy, say it's Crabtree or Corliss. He runs what we call a, a corner route here, and driver would delay and come underneath. Here, you would get, which was 85, lean out, and back in there. Now, who ran that route very good? Victor Cruz from the Giants. He'll come in, stutter steps, then he takes the middle. Mm -hmm. Remember, these safeties, 
are told, guys, I won't let anybody inside so you can get wide to cover half of the field. Right. And a lot of this is hard because you're thinking, you know, that one move, you get aggressive to try to get an interception, and that's where the Packers kill and, you. And this is um, effective against the Packers to some degree because, you know, one thing is you slow down their routes. They're all timing right. precision routes. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is if you get a pass rush with your right. four guys, if you can yeah. create a pass rush, these mm -hmm. take a long time, they don't take they? take a while. To and get past these and guys. And we'll talk about what Kansas City did. Kansas City had the great rush, you know, by 91. They had a great rush by these guys. They ran games in here. And this guy who had Coon man to man, he'll just come up the middle. If Coon steps up the tech and keeps going to the quarterback, it looks like a blitz. Mm -hmm. Now, Rodgers doesn't have time for these routes. To, he doesn't have time. So what Rodgers would do, if he think if it's a blitz or they got good pressure, you know, all he'll do is make sure Finley comes in the backfield and they'll go max the text. Now you're going to jet line. Now you got slants. You'll go here. Mm -hmm. Here, double slants and them all big plays. And now you tell you gotta win. Because if you catch that slant like Jordan Nelson did against Carolina, you can score. Mm. So he can always got the ability to call Finley in the back, you have two backs, max protect, and go deep. Otherwise, they'll run what we call slants and flats. One guy goes out, one guy goes in, and it's tough. But if that concept works, if you gotta got got guys like Flowers and those guys. Yeah, you have to have sick. good corners. Gotta you have cannot good corners. play this with bad no, corners. No, you can't. You can't Kansas City had yeah. good corners. Right. Right. Um, Tampa had good corners. Yes. Yeah. San Diego, and, and we'll bring up the last thing with this, uh, another advantage Rodgers has is when you're, these guys are playing man, their back is to the ball. Right, and the back shoulder throw is very key. <laughs> But what he did was he ran. Just take off and run. Yeah, because they're It just opens up. Think about it. This guy goes here. The safeties are parted. Everybody's back to him. And these, you got a good rush, and you just step up. And you're right. He just takes off a 30-yard run. Yeah. So and now you got to bring in. you got to take a lineman out, bring this guy over. And he's the tackle. Now you got to bring in another linebacker here in the middle. To spy Rogers. That and takes away from the And then you rush. don't get the pass rush. You right. right. You got to pick your poison. It's, I will say it has been effective to slow them down at yeah. times. Yeah. It hasn't stopped them, but it has slowed them down. And another thing the Packers will do real quick, they'll run the draw play. The draw play stops any rush. That's why I was shocked to see they didn't run more draw plays against Kansas City. These guys running those wide nines. Yeah. And nine is a technique to route wide, run the draw play, it slows them down. And plus, not to admit, it gives your alignment a break from pass rushing so much. Exactly. So we hope that helped in understanding uh, that coverage. Oh, I think they understand. we got a smart audience. Okay, great. And <laughs> smarter than us. Yeah, oh, no doubt about that. Yeah. So we will see you next week with X's and O's, and yeah. thanks for joining us. Happy New Year to everybody. Again, this is Cindy Ballester, owner and operator, W.J. Kuhn in Oak Creek.